Omega Red attacks in X-Men Gold issue 11. Still trying to discover where magic was taken, Logan has to be pried off of Peter's uncle, who says that he had no other choice but to set up the team in order to get Ileana. Knowing what he did was wrong, he agrees to show the X-Men where she was taken. Heading to a nearby church, Peter acts as his uncle's prisoner, allowing him access into the heavily secured Bratva hideout. Inside they meet with Victor, while Logan and Kitty sneak onto the roof and await Nightcrawler's signal. While waiting, the two mutants are attacked by Omega Red. As the team battles Omega Red on the roof, Victor says that Ileana was weakened by Omega Red, allowing him to draw off her massive amounts of magic to fuel himself. Peter's uncle is ordered to kill him, but with the help of Nightcrawler, Peter is able to fight Victor and Anatoly. While fighting Omega Red, Rachel tries to invade his mind, but he anticipates such a move, allowing him to stop her as well as injure her, Kitty and and Logan in the process. Descending into the catacombs, Peter and Nightcrawler look for Magic, who they find chained in a dungeon. Freeing her, Magic powers up and demands to know the location of Omega Red from one of Victor's guards. Victor arrives and attacks the weakened Magic. Turning his attention to Peter, he tells him he is disappointed that Peter's powers don't work, since he would love to test his magic on them. As if on cue, Peter's powers activate, allowing him to defeat Victor while Logan also defeats Omega Red. Later on, Peter visits his uncle in prison, who is disappointed that Peter has forgotten his Russian roots. Peter says that he only came back to Russia in hopes that he can find a family in his uncle, but now that he has found him, he is grateful his father hid him from them. Outside, Peter meets Kitty, who kisses Peter, signaling that she is done thinking about their relationship and ready to reignite it. X-Men Gold issue 11 ended the return of Omega Red in a kind of forgetful way this issue. When this story began, I initially thought it would be a big plot kind of involving Omega Red as sort of the central key figure, uh, since he's a pretty big threat to the X-Men. He's fought them on multiple occasions and had run-ins with pretty much every member. But he was barely present during these issues and only kind of used as sort of like an attack dog sort of thing. The only thing that really kept this issue interesting was the wrap-up of Peter and Kitty's relationship, and it was nice to find see them getting back together and hopefully they stay that way this time. I'm going to give this issue a 6.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.